Hello friends, welcome back to Learning Points YouTube channel. Recently Laravel releases the ninth version of Laravel, right? So this is the current version 9.x and it releases in the February 2022. Actually, I a little bit because uh, about two months already released Laravel and I was actually busy Node.js tutorial. So we completed Node.js tutorial, we, you completed Express Framework, so you can see this and in this video we are actually going to discuss about what is new in laravel 9 right so actually uh, you can check in the previous section so there is laravel 6 it was released september and then it's march means about six months or after six months they releases another uh, that is the laravel 8 version that is september 8 and now and laravel decides to release the laravel 10 on february means the version interval uh, will become uh, about one year right so laravel thinking about to publish a new version in every year right and you can see the php version so you need php 8.0 to 8.1 right and if more than 8.1 no problem actually you need minimum 8 of php person and what is the reason of that i will show you and in laravel 9 there are releases lots of things and lots of new features i will discuss about these things step by step right so first point is php version so if you want to use laravel 9 you should use at least minimum of php 8 version right since laravel 9 will require symphony 6.0 and it has a minimum requirement of php 8.0 that's the reason laravel sets the minimum requirement of php version is 8.0 then the new thing is symphony miller so what is symphony miller so actually it's not the symphony framework i'm talking about the symphony miller this is the different things of the uh, symphony framework or symphony mailer system right to send any outgoing mail in previous version laravel uses swift mailer library but in laravel line laravel not maintaining the swift mailer now it's using the symphony mailer to send any mail so you don't need to think about the functionality or these things basically these are using as a internal library that means whatever you are using in laravel 8 you can use these you can use the same functions you can use the same keyword but it will use the symphony miller as it is using as a internal library right so in the coding section or if you want to upgrade your uh, laravel version it will not affect it will just uh, update the composer so it will directly relate to the swift mailer to symphony mailer right so next things is ply system so what is that actually ply system is a file storage library for php it provides one interface to interact with many different types of file system so you can understand how important is this so when you use fly system you are not only protected from vendor lock-in you will also have a consistent experience for whichever storage is right to you right so in laravel it provides a simple to use drivers for working with local file system or you can say amazon s3 or any wreckage cloud system right and also it is running as internal library so you don't need to think about that things all your code will perfectly work if you upgrade your laravel person right so all the upgrades basically in laravel 9 it's also maintaining all the laravel 8 things and it's added some new things obviously a new version releases that means some new things always there right and the next thing is the accessor mutual part so this is the important thing so if you check in the document sections so improved allocant accessors mutuals basically in previous example when you just uh, going to create any accessor mutator in this way you can write so we will have a defined uh, functions for get name or set name is for access or mutual to set any value or to fetch any value right now in laravel line it's different so in the same function we are getting or setting all the data right so accessor or mutual used to format the attributes when you retrieve from the database 
and whereas mutator are used to format the attributes before saving them into the database. So now we don't need to write separate functions for accessor and mutator. We can write in the same functions, right? The next big update is implicit route binding with enums, right? So actually what we can see here, actually it is a new concept. Previously, we pass parameter by this argument. Now, the added new things they did enum binding. Actually, it is a new concept. Previously, we pass parameter by this argument. Now, they added new things. They did enum bindings, right? So, using enum, we can bind. So, here you can see they created a enum and the name of that is category. So when actually we passing the category, we can pass only fruits or people as we declare the category can have uh, two types of things that is fruit people. If you want to add uh, like um, suppose person or if you want to add any uh, any other things you can write. So ju just like you add it in database like uh, you can specify your uh, values what you actually need and these are the same things but here Laravel taking these things into the another label so you can pass only these things and if you pass defined things it will not work so it makes the route more specifically right so the next thing is controller route grouping so this is new actually so if you check in the previous version of laravel we generally used to do uh, suppose uh, a route level groupings right so uh, just uh, for admin or for user we can create defined routing group and in the admin section if you write some uh, urls or if you create some routes so basically it will under all the admin routes or user route right so here laravel provides a good structural concept it means whenever we are using the order controller and there have a show and store functions right so every time we don't need to write order controller again and again so it's just create a controller route controller and you are using the order controller and in this group whatever we will use the request type you can use basically the order controller so this so is inside the order controller function and also store is the order controller function so it's awesome and it will actually clear your code and uh, it will be looking good right it is not been that you will get some advantage but as a developer your code will be clean right the next thing is full text index where clause so this is interesting so added a new full text option so when creating any database column we can mention as a full text that will generate a full text index so if you check in your migration file when you create any migration or you run your know, migration so you have a column so you can add a full text option so here inside uh, the table so if you want to create a table and if you just write this basically it will create a column with a, a name bio and you can specify the full text also in a query we have a where full text option so in our previous we, we used a where clause but it will not affect that things but to search the full text we can use where full text right so this is the new in laravel 9 and the next thing is um, the scout database engine so what is actually this basically laravel scouts provide a simple driver based solution for adding full text search to your eloquent models right so basically it is related to the previous points and using model observers scout will automatically keep your search index in sync with your allocant records so it will boost your application performance so this is the helpful to understand and the next thing is uh, a rendering inline bed templates so you can see there are course we have written as a screenshot i will create a separate video for each topic so each upgrades i will create each videos and we will discuss these things later right in our upcoming video we will uh, create a, another playlist for what actually upgrades 
and if you want to say all the things in a same video it will take a much time is two hours three hours but I will create a separate separate video for each topic so for now I just going to show you what's the new things and it will just overview of the new things so right so it is the rendering inline blend template so it is new so sometimes you may need to transform a raw blade template string into valid HTML you may accomplish this using the render method provided by the blade facet right the render method accepts the blade template string and an optional array of data to provide the template right similarly the render component method may be used to render a given class component by passing the component instance right so here you can check we are using the blade facets right and we can directly render in this way so we can simply write the blade we can simply call the blade as we using this blade as a facets and just call this blade and simply use the render function and we can pass anything so it will help suppose if you want to create any mail template so i think in every application you will have a mail system to notify your user for any other uses you need mail that time you can directly render from here also and you can check so if you have a hello component so this is another example so this is the hello component i am creating a new view component and we are using the return blade we are using the blade as a facets and we can simply use the render component function and simply we can call the hello component right and we can pass the data so in this way we can render the inline blade template and the next thing is and the next thing is slot name shortcut so in previous release of laravel uh, slot names were providing using the name attributes so here you can check to use the slot attribute we can use the x hyphen slot then we need to write the name and now these are created a shortcut so we don't need to specify the name simply we can write title so in previous example we need to use the name equal to title and now you can write in this way both will work in laravel 9 but in laravel 8 you cannot use that things but in laravel 9 you can use the shortcut method also the previous method also so if you have still your old code it will obviously work and it will absolutely work and it will get no problem right so next topics so what is next the next is blade directive so this is the important upgrades and you need to use frequently these things right so two new directives appear one is checked and another is selected so here uh, suppose you have multiple checkbox and if you want to check your uh, data or if you want to show your save data into the user so how are we going to do this so you need to do lots of things now here laravel added a new functions or new directives actually this is the check here you can use the check directives and you can pass your selected record right so it will always select and easily it will do and obviously for the same things for drop down also so if you want to select your drop down simply use the selected directives and it will work as a selected so this is the important things and it will use frequently i think right and uh, the next thing so what is the next things the next things is booster 5 pagination views right laravel now includes the pagination view build using booster 5 to use these views instead of default tailwind views you may call the paginators using bootstrap 5 so simply you can directly use the paginator from the pagination and simply call use bootstrap 5 so it will appear your pagination right so the next point is 
the validation of nested array data so this is absolutely fine and it will be very helpful suppose if you want to validate your data or nested data sometimes you may need to access the value of a given nested array elements when assigning validation rules to the attribute you may now accomplish this using the rule for each so this is the things rule and this is the rule for each so we are using validation rule and you can see the rule for each will validate your each data the for each method accepts a closure that will be invoked for each iteration of the array so every time if you create an array and there suppose you have five things to validate so just in this way pass this and it will check step by step when the for each loop will execute right and will receive the attributes value and explicit so fully extended attributes name the closure should return an array of a rule to assign to the array element right so this is absolutely fine and uh, the next thing so what is the next things so improved ignitation exception page right actually this is a error page when developing any error or warning are showing here this page are improved and error showing more specifically i think this is not much helpful but these are the new things so it's added some colors and these added some things so you can see the specifically and actually it's developed by the spashi so spashi has been redesigned from the ground up the new improved ignitation ships with laravel 9.x and includes a light or dark theme right so you can change this and it is absolutely customizable and open editor functionality right so this is uh, not important uh, features but uh, as they are upgraded in their uh, website so i just uh, showing you the next thing is important so actually they added the route list cli output so if you want to check what is the existing uh, route into your application simply you can write the php artisan route list so this is the comment that times you can see all the things uh, like this but uh, not in defined color and it's not more specifically now laravel 9 uh, includes this page design also so for gate they are using some color so if you check each time gate have a different color and for delete they are using the red color right also we can see the controller name and all those things right actually when you're developing uh, there may have a lots of route right sometimes to search a particular route it becomes uh, difficult now in laravel it designed more beautifully so that we can find that easily right and the next point the next point is important for testing purpose actually it's added a new things that is the test coverage using artisan comments so simply php artisan test and the double hyphen coverage so basically what is actually showing it will check all the things how much you completed your test and also this added another comments with the coverage that is the minimum requirement so you can set your minimum requirement so you can set that you are expecting minimum 80 percent uh, uh, test case will be good right or uh, minimum 80 percent test will be good so actually if you set that minimum 80.3 percent so it will show the output so here you can check uh, there is all service provider 100 percent done and there is 100 uh, percent 93 64 so you can check the code coverage below expected 64.1 percent and the minimum requirement is 70.0 percent that means for your case if you set this 80.3 it will say the minimum 80.3 should have and it will show the fail that means you are not uh, getting the 80.3 percent right so if you pass this 80.3 percent of test that means it will okay no problem right so what is the new thing so actually here these are the important and this actually is the new thing so a new helper is added so two new helper is added that is the uh, one is string and one, one another is the route right so what is this actually you can see these are using str function 
one is for uh, with a value and one is without a value so the string functions returns a new stringable instance of the given string so you are setting the string as tailor and it's appending the outer so here we are getting the output that is tailor outer now here we are using the snake function so laravel uh, capital of f then framework so it's snaking so laravel underscore framework all right actually if no argument is provided to the string function the function returns an instance of the string right so this is the one helper function and another helper function is two route right the two route function generates a redirect http response for a given named routes providing an expressive way to redirect to name routes from your route and controller and if necessary you may pass the http status so here we are passing the http status and can be assigned to the redirect and any additional response header as the third and fourth arguments to the two routes right so these are the two routes methods and we are passing the header as x framework laravel and this is the response code or you can say or you can pass and things into the third or fourth parameter no problem on that right so this is all about uh, the new things or upgrading things of laravel 9 and i will discuss about how to upgrade your application from laravel 8 to laravel 9 and before that i will discuss about each topic so here you can say uh, this is the two routes right so here we are just uh, getting some snapshots of uh, my code so in our next video we are going to show you how actually it's working so we'll discuss about each new upgrades or new things of laravel 9 so we'll create a separate playlist for that so hope you will like this video and i will request you to like and subscribe this channel for upcoming videos so i will discuss about this upgrade more specifically point by point right so thanks for watching this video and keep waiting for my next video thanks for watching this video again and bye bye